What's up Bearcats? This week we sat down with some of our foreign student athletes from Canada, England, and France. We learned a lot about their culture and also what they thought of ours. Callan, what are some words or sayings that your teammates here have found a little bit unusual or Canadian? Um, I say A a lot. I toss that into sentences, which is like an automatic they know I'm from Canada. Um, probably my pronunciation of about. Apparently it sounds like a boot. I've never figured that out. And uh, we say washroom instead of bathroom and pop instead of soda. So it's just like casual conversation words that apparently are different. Had you ever been to America before since you came here to play soccer at Binghamton? Yes, in 2011 we came on like a family holiday. So we went to New York City, uh, Florida, and Las Vegas. So it was a pretty good couple of weeks. What was your favorite spot that you went? In all honesty, probably Las Vegas, but I was <laughs> underage. I was only 17 at the time, so I couldn't really do much, but still, like, I'd love to go back there yeah. now and learn what's out there. What's your favorite thing so far about America? Um, American Netflix. We only get Canadian Netflix your favorite at show? home. Um, you know what? Friends is apparently now on Netflix, which is amazing. Nice. But Canadian Netflix at home, like, we don't get a lot of shows, so... And, like, certain websites, like MTV, I can watch online down here, but I can't at home. <laughs> What's the, the biggest difference you find from tennis back home in France as compared to here at Binghamton? I mean, the obvious big difference is that here it's, uh, tennis is becoming a team sport, right? Back home it's only a, a personal experience, you know, I play tournaments only for myself and the fact of evolving in a team with about like eight different, uh, different people is really a complete um, new dimension, and I really enjoy it. I mean, you you just you just you just get that team spirit that I think is really missing in the sport of tennis. So uh, I get to I get to experience the whole package. <laughs> well, what do you miss most about England? The tea. I mean, <laughs> America has tea, but it just doesn't live up to expectations. You're not about that Lipton tea. <laughs> no, the game's got to step up. It's not good enough. What's your least favorite thing about America? Um, Dunkin' Donuts, which I'm probably going to get a lot of backlash. Milk. I'm a very, yes, I'm a double-double, which is two milks, two sugars, which not everyone seems to know down here. But, um, yeah, I'm not into Dunkin'. Mm -hmm. America runs on Dunkin', though, apparently. So if and when you trash talk, is it in your native language? Uh, yeah, of course. I mean, whenever I get pissed off on the court, it's just my... My native tongue that takes over, you know, and I can just swear for like 20 minutes straight without <laughs> stopping in French. And the fact that people usually don't understand it is really, really uh, self-rewarding and fun. <laughs> Do you have a favorite experience since you've been here at Binghamton? Uh, one that comes to mind was we had an important home game and we won. Can't recollect who it was against. But Alan Duffy, who's a former player of Binghamton soccer, uh, was all fully dressed in his like shirt and tie. We're all in the showers getting sh well showered and changed, whatever. And he just runs in, <laughs> gets completely soaked, starts chatting. Everyone's like getting involved. It was just a good laugh. That was good. It's in his full suit. Everything. Wow. Everything. <laughs> Robin, what's your favorite thing about America? Uh, what I really like about the U.S. is that um, athletes are really recognized. You know. When you say you're a Division One athlete, it really means something, and uh, people really acknowledge it. Uh, they know that you have to wake up early in the morning to get your lifting session done. They know that after class you get a good practice, and they just get a better understanding of all the sacrifices we have to make to be athletes. Nice. Have you had any unusual or interesting stories you can tell from being in America? Um, this August, when I was driving back down to school. Um, I, my car doesn't have miles in it, and we, I only know kilometers. I've yet to learn how, like, the conversion of them. So I was doing, my parents are going to kill me when they hear this. So I was doing 140 kilometers, right? I was maybe five minutes from Binghamton, and I really had to go to the washroom. And all of a sudden, I saw a cop, and I tried to slow down. And he pulled me over, and he was like, do you know how fast you were going? And I tried to plead and tell him I didn't have miles on my car. He told me it wasn't a good enough excuse. So I was doing, like, 78 and a 50, maybe? which apparently is terrible in miles, but yeah, I had to get a lawyer. It was, it was not looking good, but yeah. So what made you come to America to be a student athlete? Uh, you know, in France, we don't really have the um, collegiate sports system, which means that 
after high school you really have to make a choice between uh, playing your sport and trying to be a professional player or just focusing on studies and I was like I made so many sacrifices for tennis but at the same time I don't think I want to uh, be a professional player so the American system was really the perfect, ma a perfect way for me to um, get a reward out of all these efforts I, uh, I put in on the court and at the same time uh, keep studying and um, you know get a, get a good education. Yeah. What's it like being away from home for so long? It's tiring. I miss home a lot. I miss my friends, my family. Um, the, with the like time difference, it's hard to speak to everyone. Obviously with class and stuff, I'm always busy, so that plays a major factor. Have you been home at all since you've been here? Yeah, a few times. Uh, I try to go home every December. Um, obviously with my leg at the moment, I can't play in the summer, so I'm going home for a couple of weeks, which would be nice. So yeah, a few times. Okay. Right. Sounds good. Done. Cheers, guys. Um, I'll be back next week. <laughs> so, come along. Pizza with Vaughn. Thank you very much to Callan Williams, Charlie Novoth, and Robin Lesage for sitting down with us and letting us know what it's like to be a foreign student athlete.